I can't figure it out today. Today, so. <laughs> Every day doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I say. Uh, it's the morning. What? It's the morning show. It's the morning show. Maverick in the morning coming at you here. Yeah, that's better. I like glowing. Okay. Here we are, live on YouTube. Hello, my name's Melissa. And I'm Rhonda. And we are Maverick RX. Maverick RX, in case you didn't know, is the prescription to a healthy, balanced life lived out loud on your own terms. Uh, Rhonda and I decided a week ago today that because we were going to be shut-ins, we needed to have coffee together in the morning so we could start our day and not lose our minds. So far, how's it going? You losing your mind? What are we on? Day, we, we keep track of this quarantine. <coughs> I'm on day seven. <coughs> My coffee went down the wrong pipe. Quarantine day six. Mm -hmm. I don't see us. We're not live then? No, it says we're live on YouTube. And this says uh, started streaming less than one minute ago. I don't see our faces though. I just see our like, oh wait here. Let's see, let me see. Okay, yep, we're live. We're live, okay. Uh, good morning, Grandma Karen. How are you? Hello, Karen. Early in the morning over there. How you doing? Um, and good morning, Britt. How are you? Good morning, you? Britt. How are you feeling? How's the day? Good morning from her bed. She's in bed. I know, I actually thought about just keeping it in the bed, taking everything up there. <laughs> um, how's everybody holding up? Yeah. A little tighter restrictions after yesterday. You know, I, I don't feel affected by them. We're not affected by them too much. It didn't no. change much in our life. So I'm thankful for that. Yeah, no, because we're everybody already else. I know. We've already been locking it down. Hunkered down. Grandma Karen's hunkered down in Arizona. Yep. That's good. You got enough food and everything? I've been having fun cooking. Yeah, my my family was funny. I, I made, it's crazy that you made shrimp because I did too. Mm -hmm. And um, and I had some leftover veggies from the egg rolls. So I'm like, oh, I'll do like a veggie pasta. I had chicken, so I do chicken something for the kids. I had some tortellini and linguine. Mm -hmm. And um. You know, I was just throwing something together and they all are like, Frank comes in and he's like, what's for dinner? I said, I'm making like us like a shrimp vegetable pasta and I'm making them like a chicken vegetable tortellini thing. And he's like, I don't want shrimp. I'm like, oh, well, that's what, <laughs> yeah. that's what we're having. Yeah. Did he eat it? He ate it. He didn't have the chicken. He had some chicken, but he had a few shrimp. So, and what? then they always like come in the kitchen. What were they saying about you talking to the vegetables? Oh, so yesterday after we went to Costco, which, oh my gosh. So we got to Costco like 10 minutes after they opened because everybody's saying you got to hit the stores when they open right now. So I'm never there like right on time. Everybody knows this about me. You're never so, there right on time. Anywhere. Oh. I, so I didn't make it like on time to Costco. But I was thankful. I think my delay was good. So it was crazy, insane. Really? And the amount of anxiety that I had shopping and everybody, like everybody's walking around like this. Because really? it was packed. So the whole social distance thing was not Absolutely. happening. Yeah. And everybody's like like grabbing their stuff and they, no one wants to like touch. And it's like, you're like, it, it was weird. Don't you think? Um, and it was like a little, um, it definitely purged. It definitely shot up the anxiety at the store. Did it? Yeah. The line, like no joke when I got there was literally the lines of the register were almost to the back of the store. 
Do you think, um, so had the, you went earlier before the announcement? Yeah. Huh. I wondered, you know, cause he was like, Governor Pritzker was like, don't worry, you do not need to go get food. Um, oh, Joe, Joe Miraglia tried to log in, but he couldn't do it. Uh, is he not have a yeah. YouTube account? It was yesterday, I don't know. I don't know if he has a YouTube or not. Um, anyway, yeah, yesterday he said, you know, please don't take this information as notice that you need to run out the store, you know, I'm like, yeah, buy everything. Right. I was watching uh, Sebastian Maniscalco yesterday and he was talking about, they mentioned like how many babies are going to come out of this. And it's true, right? right? Like, yeah. what are people going to do? They're going to be bored. So yeah, it's like, right, babies. Um, hmm. I don't know how, what the heck. Um, and then he was talking about how many like divorces there will be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then the, his wife is like, it'll be interesting to see like post once we're all released back into the world, how many affairs there will be. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> People will be like, oh man. Not to make light of it at all. No, we well, you have to make light of the whole thing. Right. It, it, that's it, it, only, it's survival. And it's that's, survival. honestly, um, yesterday I did pretty well up until my husband got really stressed when he found out. Um, it might oh, be. yay. I, hold on. I'm sorry. We got, uh, we got Adele and we have Aaron. Hi. Hi, Aaron hi, and Adele. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, not, Adele says, love stinking you in my house with seafood up. Oh. <laughs> what did she say? She said, love stinking up the house with seafood to upset the hubby. <laughs> <laughs> so and then Aaron is coming into us from New Lenox. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh, Britt says they're going to be called the coronials, the babies. Yeah, the coronials. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I kept myself out of the articles, though, in the TV up until Governor was announcing this. Yeah. Stuff. I, really I was like, I just got to stay away from it. I'm in a much better mind space when I stay away yeah. from it. One thing that I think is interesting that I do find, um, I guess, sort of frustrating about it is they were talking about this out of Italy. While it is like everyone's oh you know you the the population that is most affected are the older folks and people with underlying conditions right um compromised immune systems the the facts that came out of italy indicated that most of the people hospitalized were between 40 and 60. it yeah. was the people that were older and compromised that died but the people that are having it <laughs> It's our bad. our age group yeah right so like i wish that they would... seeing some younger people have it now even like right like i wish that there was some accurate information about that but then in the same breath it's like what does that do if you have more information it about help. it doesn't help right like just do what they tell you to do stay home don't buy medical supplies that you don't need right because the nurses do, right? The doctors need that stuff. Right. And just mind your own business. That's right. Well, this is like I was telling somebody yesterday, at some point I don't have control over what's happening. Right. No. In the world. I don't have control over the economy. I don't have control over any of it. So I could sit and, and stew and worry about it, or I can choose to what I do have control over mm -hmm. and that's what's going on in my own house mm -hmm. you know and that's and then the rest of it lean on God so I'm actively trying to keep myself focused on what I have control over and not mm -hmm. what I don't have control over mm -hmm. I like it so um so what are you going to cook today let's talk about that I don't know yet 
you know, I, <laughs> I don't understand how you don't know yet. This is like, this is, I guess I should share this with our little audience this morning. This is the key difference between Rhonda and Melissa. When everybody starts getting nervous about the food, I'm like, yeah, I got my menu, go to the store, I buy food for like the week, right? I have my meals planned. This one's like, oh yeah, I'll go again tomorrow. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll go. She goes to the store every day. <laughs> this buys like just what she needs for that day. And that has not changed amid this COVID crisis. <clears throat> oh, okay, good, good. Yesterday, Erin read that one of the symptoms this lady had before she actually had it was loss of, loss of taste. Ugh. Oh, I had that, remember that? Like, Oh yeah, in January? Like I couldn't taste a thing for a week? Yeah, that was January. Mm -hmm. I do wonder, how many people watching think it's been here and now it's just being tested and known? That's a good question, I think. Me. Yeah, I know, me too. Um, Oh yeah, Nadia says her cousins live stream in Italy daily and they're losing an entire generation, but now the younger people are getting sick. We'd like to point out their store workers have safety masks. So hopefully our grocery store workers can keep themselves safe. Yeah. 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 All the people that are out there working. Nadia, I mean, jeez. Oh, Cause Adele's, Adele's name says uh, Nadia oh, Music and her right. Siberian Huskies. Yep. Um, yeah. Adele and Britt both agreed that it's been here. I think I had it the second week of February because I went in, I had all the symptoms. The cough was terrible. I had to use my inhaler for days. Went in, wasn't tested or was tested for influenza A and B, not, and it was negative. Um, yeah, I think we've been exposed to it for a while because there's, there's, I don't think they even, it was, I think it was in China something in November. They found it so it's had to be here um so yeah i came home and my it was funny because i was like putting all the stuff away and then i was cleaning out my fridge and i got super excited because i forgot i had bought radicchio like a couple days ago so i love radicchio it's like one of my favorite lettuces and mm -hmm. i like literally got so excited and i Oh, it's, and I talked to the radicchio, and so my kids thought they were laughing. They're like, you're losing your mind, mom. <laughs> I said, pretty soon I might be talking to, I'll be like, Wilson, you know, I have. You radicchio? <laughs> <laughs> my mom just sent me a text message. And she said, <laughs> I know this will help many parents survive homeschooling. <laughs> It's a message from, like, it appears to be just sort of like a news headline, right? Yeah. It says, grabbing takeout, ordering an Uber, and dropping off dry cleaning also are still permitted. The order even allows liquor stores and recreational cannabis dispensaries to remain open for business should the second week of impromptu homeschooling create an essential need. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've sent my husband to the store for <laughs> wine. I, ha I have to be honest with you guys. Uh, I, I have been drinking a little bit more wine than I usually do. Not like more in terms of in one sitting, but I've had like two glasses of wine a night. Yeah, I had two glasses last which night. Which is not my norm. I normally don't drink Monday through Thursday at all. And Friday, <laughs> Saturday, I do. Um, I think, I don't think you're alone, Melissa. No, I know. You're not. I mean... I'm not, I don't stock up on liquor. See, that's a no, on wine. So that's my next question. Who is like stocked on wine right now? I'm stocked on all stuff. You're always stocked on wine. Yeah. What about you guys? Are you stocked on wine? That's the next question. I'm waiting for responses because there's the delay. Delay, yeah. Stocked on wine, still waiting on that. Or other, other alcohol products. Yeah, other alcohol products. I did find um, at Jewel the other day, Brit stocked. Yep. 
Karen's ready, rocking and rolling. She's ready to do it. She's not, hey, I had that seeker, that cab seeker. It's called Seeker Cab. Uh huh. Oh, so good. good. Yeah. yeah. We had a. It was a. We had a Cabernet Franc last night. Huh. It's one of. Um, it was one that was sent to him from Oregon. Oh my gosh. It's so good. So good. So I guess it's, no, wait. wine fridge is always filled. We freak out if there's an empty slot, says Adele. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's like the reverse of me. I get down to empty and I'm like, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> she sees one slot empty. She's like, ah! <laughs> Aaron says no wine, but they have lots of angry orchard. They love the angry orchard. You like the angry orchard? Dude, uh, we got beer too. We got blue sky light. We got. Three I can't light. find the blue sky, or Jamie hasn't been able to find the blue sky. I'm gonna have to go out today because that stuff's delish. It is the love the blue sky. That is really good. We got three one twos. We here's got. An, here's another one. I'm 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 hitting hard. Hello, hand lotion. How's your hands oh my doing? Gosh, mine are guys. <clears throat> oh, bleeding. Karen had a, they had a sale, twenty five percent off if you bought six. So okay, <laughs> way to go. I know. I think I might go to Benny's today. Yeah, take a ride to Benny's. Oh, is that a, is it? Oh, because they'll be closing. It's not considered essential. No liquor stores are open. I think they are. I think that's what my mom just was trying to say. Oh gosh, Brett's running out of gin. She oh. likes. You like gin, huh? Yeah, I like gin too. Yeah, I don't have, I don't feel, I might have some gin. I used to drink gin and tonics when Jamie and I were young. That was my like thing. I picked up a thing of vodka too yesterday. So who's got the hands, the dry hands? Me. Tell us, what kind of lotion are you running with? You need me to send you some Renew? Heavenly, do you need some Renew? Do you need some? Yeah, I'll order you up some. If anybody needs Renew and and you live within a driving distance. I'm happy to drop you some. Um, oh, was, Britt says liquor stores are curbside for liquor, liquor orders. Really? You have to do shopping online. That's I got a plan ahead. A plan ahead. I can help you with that list. It, it sounds like a fun list to make. It does, right? It does. Like, it's like, it's like a candy store. I know, I really did want to do a quarantini. Oh, yeah. Britt's using Vaseline on her hands at night. She uses Vaseline on everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Right, Britt? You use Vaseline on everything. wonder what else. <laughs> 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 well, this is going to get... Uh, Jessica is here. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Jessica. How she are says, you? Hi, ladies. Good morning. Stacked up on white Russians with super dry hands. <laughs> Who said that? Jessica. Oh, yeah. Gasoline on hands with socks for my kiddos. Whoa, Aaron, good thinking. Yeah, that is a good thinking. I, I had a roommate that did that in college. She would always, she had like gloves she would put on. So what's everybody cooking tonight? Britt says that's why she looks so young. She puts Vaseline on her face? You put yeah. Vaseline on your face? It does. Yeah, I would break out. Coconut oil. For, okay, Karen. Good, good. You see the delay? Yeah, it's a delay. Delay. I wish there wasn't a delay. I do too, because then it would be a lot easier, but such is life. At least we're here to talk out. We're really picky about our, about our delay. Um, okay, so tonight I'm either making chili, which I need to get started right away. If that's, I don't think I can do that. I got to defrost meat. You can always just defrost it in the microwave. I've told you this a thousand times. I know, and I've listened once or twice. <laughs> Not very often. Um, so that, or I was thinking about doing like some steaks with some mushrooms and onions. Oh, that sounds good. It looks like it's nice outside. It's sunny. I don't think it's nice out. Jamie says it's cold. Oh, Jessica's making Rubens tonight. Man, I, I love the other day. Rubens. I could eat a Reuben on a regular basis. Yeah, we like Reubens. Um, okay, let's look at this weather. What else, everybody cooking? Let us know, we wanna know. Mm, Britt's thinking about chili too. 
Yeah, only the 30s. The high is going to be 36 at 4 o'clock. I, I went for a run yesterday, which was mm -hmm. mostly a walk because I had like three phone calls. It was so cold. The wind. The wind was awful and there was no sun. It was terrible. Chili sounds good, but what are you going to make is what I want to know. I keep thinking if I was just in Florida. You're not though. What did you just say before? <laughs> <laughs> worry about what's inside your house <laughs> yeah, but it would be nice i'm just picturing my house in florida i wish i was in sun sunshine too it would be so much better to be able to oh, yeah, walk would, like, in the sun you people in florida are lucky you are lucky <sighs> you jump in your pool you could have a poolside grill out grilling in the like a yeah. party every day all right, well, how are all of you feeling, Illinoisians, about um, April 8th being our next return to normal possibility? How are you feeling about it April? It doesn't feel like a lot of together time. Rhonda's getting a little nervous about all the together time. My kids practically ignore me all day. I do not. They, they say I don't listen to them. They talk all the time. I know they do. Yeah, no, they don't, they don't, they just kind of do their own thing until I say like, guys, come in the kitchen. And then I like try to have them do something. The e-learning, man, we got into that yesterday. So that's good, I guess. Yeah, it seemed like the teachers were sending a little more stuff, thankfully. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let's get to it because it is now 8.38 and I'm almost out of coffee. Oh, yeah. I got to be straight with you. Oh, Britt says we should put up pictures in the windows and ocean screen on the TV and make some drinks with umbrellas. Oh, pretend, I like, I, pretend I, that I, we're I in like Florida. It, I like it. Maybe some hula skirts, put on our swimsuits. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah. Rhonda put on her lifeguard shirt, pretending yeah. she was going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. She did. <laughs> like, that's for real. Uh, Dr. Pawpaw Original Balm, Jessica says, is good for hand and body ointment. Dr. Pawpaw. Never heard of that. All right. So, Rhonda. Yeah. You're going to read something to us all, and I'm excited because I haven't read it yet. Yes. Um, here we go. Wait one second. I have one thing. Could you guys, if there's someone uh, that you are thinking about praying for it, would you leave that in the comments in our live chat here? And we'll add those folks to our prayer list. Um, I am, I am taking prayer requests and I'm going to write them down and keep them in my, in my Bible so that each morning I can uh, add to that. Oh, I wanted to add this one thing too, that I saw on Facebook that I thought is a really cool idea. Uh huh. And I guess it's for today and tomorrow, but I think this is something that everybody could keep doing is um, writing chalk messages on your driveway or on your walk of inspirational messages. Oh. And it's like chalk your walk, it's called, or something. And I'm like, that's really cool. So like if people are walking, they see positive messages? Yeah. I like it. I think that's a good idea. So if you have anybody, drop your prayer requests. Um, and uh, I am going to, again, lift up... Um, Julie's friend, whose husband passed yeah. last Friday. Uh, my friend Gail lost her dad um, recently. And so I'm lifting her and her sisters up. Um, mm -hmm. Jessica's lifting up her grandmother, Norma Jean. Is it how, is, how's, is she okay, Jessica? Is she okay? Um, my little brother, so Adele's little brother, uh, Plinio, sick in quarantine. Doctors told him he likely has COVID, but doesn't meet criteria, so no testing because of the lack of tests. Right. Um, Jessica, how is Norma? And Britt's in-laws stuck in South Africa? Yes. Mm -hmm. How are they? What about you, Aaron, Karen? Who are you praying for today? I'm praying for the for the front line, you know, all of those Absolutely. doctors. Lifting them up because they're the ones really fighting this. 
and and then they have in their families. Uh, Brett's in-laws and Linio. Also, she's praying for her friend. Uh, this is Adele praying for her friend Antonella and her family. Her okay. husband is heading the COVID team and she's working overtime, both doctors, both with small kids. Yeah. Aaron lifting up all the nurses. Um, P I N P L I N I O, Antonella and family. Um, okay. I haven't heard from Grandma Karen. I know you're praying for somebody, Grandma Karen. You always are. <laughs> You know, one other group of folks I'm praying for, um, the, the ministers. I'm praying that they can get some messages out um, and pastors to, to folks. I know yeah. Rhonda's, Rhonda's church does an amazing job, but you guys have such tech support, you know. Um, so her church does live broadcasts. Yeah, Dell's going to watch for, we said we'll watch at the same time today. Like a watch party. Oh, I like that. Yeah. What time are you going to do it? 4.30. Oh, I'm in. 4.30 church watch party and i'm gonna even do because we do community they actually you can pick up communion cups at their church oh yeah you but i'm gonna i don't have that so i'm gonna do bread and why uh, yeah you're bread. gonna drink a glass of wine and eat bread <laughs> while, <laughs> while watching church is what you're saying well or grape juice i have grape juice because <laughs> you know grape juice helps keep stir off the intestinal virus 4 30 church Adele is in it's a watch party 4 30 so um I'm gonna ask Rhonda to put that up on Facebook around 4 30 you think you okay can yeah that? yeah and that way then if anybody um wants to join, you, they can uh, Aaron's church is doing a watch party tomorrow I'm trying to get in touch with my I've been talking with Sherry about trying to figure out how I can help them if I can get online quick um but anyway so Let's move on. We've got, I'm going to lift it up one more time. Julie's friend, uh, Norma Jean, Brit's in-laws, all the nurses, all the first responders, my friend Gail and her sisters and family, Plinio, Antonella and family, and um, all of you ladies, we're lifting you up as well. Um, keep your sanity and stay tight together. Reach out if you need anything, just need to talk, please, because we are here to, to help you out. Yeah, we're all going through this. Yep. All right, Rhonda, take it away. What do we got right. this morning? All right, here we go. Trust me, and this is actually today's uh, devotion out of Jesus Calling. I thought it was perfect. Um, trust me and don't be afraid, for I am your strength and song. Think what it means to have me as your strength. I spoke the universe into existence. My power is absolutely unlimited. Human weakness consecrated to me is like a magnet drawing my power into your neediness. However, fear can block the flow of my strength into you. Instead of trying to fight your fears, concentrate on trusting me. When you relate to me in confident trust, there is no limit to how much I can strengthen you. Remember that I am your song. I want you to share my joy, living in conscious awareness of my presence. Rejoice as we journey together toward heaven. Join me in singing my song. Um, along with that, we have Psalm 56, 3. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust. I will not be afraid. Who or what can mortal man do to me? So on that, I guess we wrap it up for the day. Um, we're hoping tomorrow our friend Heather will join us. Uh, she, she had was, a little emergency she was, with the dog. Yeah, she had an emergency with her dog. Her dog yeah she was on this morning well we, we talked this morning and she said she had to be in and out because she needed to take the dog to the vet and then we were on zoom and as we're on zoom the three of us all of a sudden she jumps up <clears throat> and her poor dog's like throwing up and so she is going to hopefully join us tomorrow if all goes well with her baby and next week we have a lot of exciting guests we have yeah. from an wine cheese owner we have a counselor coming on so Hey, wait, hold the phone. Uh, Britt's mom would like to share Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. Here we go. I'm almost there. Ooh, what the? 
What did I do? Went too far. There it is. I like it. It's on 121. Huh? What? I found it. It's on 121. Here we go. Thanks, Brett. Thank you, Brett. One and two. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Love it. Thank you. Thank Thanks you, Britt. That's a good one. Tell your mom we said thank you. So everybody um, have a great day. Have a great day. Go freshen up that second cup of coffee, and uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 8.15. Bye, guys. Bye.